What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another episode of If There's a Will, There's a Wave. I'm Jeremy, this is Cleo, and we're restoring this 1973 32-foot Lord's Flybridge Sport Fisher that we plan to have back on the water by the end of June 2021. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the current build progress. We already got the old engines out, purchased the new ones, and in this episode, we start building up engine number one. Let's get into it. Today, as you can see behind me, we're going to be doing some engine stuff. We got the engine all cured up. Today is finally the seventh day. So we're going to be pulling off the masking tape and taking a closer look at the paint job. As well as, let me go on this side, we got all of our parts in. As you guys can see, we got a full table of parts ready to go onto the engine. Gaskets, bolts, basically everything we need. So yeah, let's just get into it. First things first, we're going to be taking off all the masking tape and uh, seeing what we got. Let's do it. lines on the inside for the intake manifold we got that chrome timing cover the black accented oil pan we're gonna have the black accented exhaust stuff we got the black water pump black starter we're gonna have a couple other polished chrome stuff going on there too but I think it's gonna look pretty good The engine itself actually came with all the gaskets that I need, all marine gaskets. So I just need to get a little bit of RTV so I can seal this front end here and this back side. So that, that fits, that's cool. it out she looks so good all right so here's the thing the engine looks great a lot of stuff that's going on that is working and there's a lot of stuff that's going on that's not so with all the things that i purchased maybe half of the stuff is actually fitting and you know mating up and stuff so that's great i guess that's just how it goes 
Let, let's go through it. Here we go. So the things that are working, bah. We got the intake manifold on, it fits perfectly. All the bolts are lining up. Okay, bolt holes are lining up, that's all great. Distributor, you know, holes on the right spot, we're good. Okay, that's great. Problem that we're having with this is that the bolts that I got, which literally say Chevy intake bolts, Chevy Vortex SS, maybe because it's SS, I don't know. Hex intake manifold. They don't fit, okay, they're too small. It feels like they're grabbing, but then, you know, you can kind of just wiggle them out. So, no good, no bueno. The risers didn't end up fitting the exhaust manifold, so that sucks. These inlets are these, you know, where they actually connect, they're a lot smaller than what we need. Okay, I'll show you what's, what I mean by that. Okay. I need it to be, what, like an inch longer? So I gotta look up, find out, get the right elbows. I do plan to keep these exhaust manifolds because they do fit with the valve covers that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to keep these, try to find the right riser elbows. We got the water pump on. Everything worked out perfectly except for one bolt that is supposed to go here. Turned out that it is just a little bit too long. I got two of them, right? And these are stainless steel also. The threading is just too long, so I'd have to cut it a little bit like right there so that it could go because like this is one length, right? This is another length. Uh, this third one, I believe, is the same length as this other one here, but the one above it is smaller. It is uh, maybe a quarter inch smaller, so that's why I gotta take off of this bolt. No big deal. That's not too big of a deal. I can finish that up. All right, so finish this thing off as there's really not much else that I can do. Really, I, I did want to have the riders on bolts into this thing uh, and also the pulley system. So I'm gonna tape off the spots that are open just to protect the engine. But now obviously the engine is gonna be a lot more protected um, just this way. So let's get it. Get my painter's tape. What I do want to check and test is if we'd be able to reuse the old Edelbrock 1409s. Well, that's freaking ass disappointing. <laughs> Guess not. Dang it. Well, I've got two 1409s for sale. Two Edelbrock 1409s. They do need to be rebuilt. Maybe it will work. <laughs> I had it sideways. I had it backwards. <laughs> I had it backwards. I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, kind of. I got a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. <laughs> cool, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, like, how the hell is Edelbrock gonna make a manifold that can't even use their like most go-to carburetor? Literally, like their most commonly used universal application. This is the one, right? This is what you got. 1409. Cool. All right. They're not for sale anymore. I'm gonna keep them. Yeah, literally, I can use either hole. I have, uh, I can use either set of studs. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. It looks good, too. Well, at least it will. Back to the tape job. <laughs> Ready. There she is all masked off. Okay, so exhaust ports, intake ports. Cool, all right? Valve covers. Just to protect the engine. So the carburetor actually worked. The 1409 works with this intake. Uh, I'm gonna try to get both of the ones that I have rebuilt. I'm gonna try to either contact Edelbrock directly or if there's anyone that is a uh, boat mechanic and they they like to do this type of stuff let me know right in the comments and uh, i would definitely be interested in you know going that route as well so